Right, uh, we're getting news that the NCLAT has directed the NCLT Ahmedabad to pass orders in SR Steel case on Jan 31st. Ritu, just a uh, few uh, minutes ago, had told us that both uh, the bankers as well as Arcelor Mittal has written to the NCLAT to expedite this case. So we will keep an eye out on this. Jan 31st is the date. But we've been getting you commentary coming in from the sidelines of the World Economic Forum, which is currently underway in Davos. Our colleague Shireen Pan caught up with C. Vijay Kumar, the president and CEO of HCL Tech, who says they're focusing on modernizing services as their half their income will be distributed in dividends or buybacks. Listen in. There are two things that we are focused on. One is uh, modernizing all our services and really evolving rapidly into the next generation services firm. That's our mode one and mode two. And mode three is about creating a product revenue stream, which is very sticky, highly profitable. Uh, we are probably the only company headquartered of India which is really uh, playing big in product space. There are select areas where we want to really make an impact in the product space. And I think uh, we've done very well. We've made some investments in the last three years. They've delivered very good returns and then uh, now we're trying to scale up and that's the acquisition that we announced and some of these products are really core to our clients business like commerce is a platform which runs 30 40 percent of uh, omni-channel transactions for our clients so it's so important and integral to the business so we believe some of these products will need a lot of support a lot of modernization and that's going to create a, a momentum by its own what is it going to mean in terms of future investments? You talked about the big bets that you've made and the investments that you've made in the last three years. And how much of this is going to continue to be driven through the inorganic route, through acquisitions? Yeah, I think when you're looking at product business, right, it, it comes with a lot of risk, right? If you take a traditional way of approaching a product business where you create a product, you put a lot of money into creating a product, and then creating a go-to-market, creating a big channel, uh, so it may or may not work. But we took a very different approach. We took over existing products with a lot of uh, revenue streams and very loyal customer base, and we are modernizing them. So it takes a lot of risk out of the equation, and that's what we've seen. We've done product development over the last uh, two years for many of the products that we acquired, and each one of them have done so well. So we've really found the magic of building a product business in a risk-mitigated way, and that algorithm has proven itself and now we believe we should scale it a multi-fold. So and what is the current size and what is the aspiration? Yeah, we, in the last quarter, as you would know, we crossed a billion dollar run rate. This new acquisition will add another 650 million uh, annualized revenues. And we continue to invest in creating organic products. We come from a very strong product engineering DNA mm -hmm. and we're trying to kind of build on top of it. Like we have products around AI, automation, which is very core to our infrastructure and IT outsourcing mm -hmm. opportunities. Mm -hmm. Some of that is getting productized and we're creating a, a channel to sell products as a part of this mm -hmm. whole initiative. But there is skepticism and also concerns and questions on the kind of money being spent specifically on this side of the business uh, through the acquisitions that you're making. How do you allay those concerns? No, I think we are spending on both sides, right? One is to evolve, uh, 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 continues to evolve a new product business. And we've done a lot of organic investments in building our next generation offering. We've built digital labs uh, in all over the world. We have a very large organic investment in building capabilities in cloud native services, scale agile, IoT works, we've invested a lot, cybersecurity. So we continue to invest well in the, in the core areas which will have to differentiate us from a services perspective. And this is a new strategy and I think we've done that without diluting our margins, without uh, making any big changes to our return on uh, an investment kind of uh, metrics. Mm -hmm. I think that's where the overall uh, the magic formula is working. So as you look at uh, HCL in 2030 and you talked about these uh, three uh, sort of strategies that are in play parallelly, uh, you know, from a capital allocation perspective, what is it, what is it going to mean uh, over the next few years? Yeah, we have a capital allocation policy. We said 50% uh, of our net income will be distributed either as dividends or uh, uh, or as buybacks, and other 50%, we would be open to invest if we find the right opportunities. And that's what we've followed in the last three years. Mm -hmm. And we will continue to do that. And if there is some change, we will definitely do announce it as we move forward. You know, uh, since we were talking about future bets, let me also ask you about uh, some of the challenges. Uh, and this is something that your peers are also faced with. Supply side constraints, uh, talent. Uh, is that going to be a structural increase that you see as far as costs are concerned? Uh, and how do you see that playing out? Yeah, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a genuine concern. I mean, as I said, in all the new technology areas, the demand is not a concern. 
Every CIO I met is talking about digital transformation. They want us to contribute more to or accelerate their digital transformation journey. So I think we have to prepare ourselves to service the demand. And I think there are a couple of ways to do it. Reskilling is a very big agenda on our topic, on the, on the overall strategy. Localization is another big theme. Well, on that note, we'll wrap up on Chartbusters. You stay with us. Trading R comes up next.